Hey guys. Remember me? You mills your mills got skills. It's no mad patriot. It's a slider. How you guys doing today? I hope everybody's having a great day today. I know you guys were probably wondering, was I ever gonna make another vlog video? Well you know what guys? I am. <sighs> What's going on YouTube family? How's everybody doing today? And welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. And in today's episode, everybody was asking me personally, what's it like working in a homeless shelter? Well guys, it's gonna be a long episode. Hopefully it's not gonna be that long. Let's see if we could try to keep it short. But without further ado, let me get into this vlog video so y'all can know how it is to work in a homeless shelter and if it's suitable for y'all who are interested in working in the social services. Now, as you can see, I'm at work. I got my radio on, as you can see. You heard somebody talking on the radio. And if you guys can't see the radio, it's right over here. And see, we always have to be, you know, in that mode in the security industry, making sure clients are not coming in and they're not going to the wrong places and all that stuff. So yeah. So as you can see, I work for one of the biggest security companies in the world, Ally Universal Security Services. And also, just want people to know, when you work in the social services industry, it's gonna have all these licenses. And when you have all these licenses, oh, by the way, since you're gonna see it very clearly, these are my, it's my wallet. And of course, I have another wallet as well. But I keep my radio in the back. See, I got my other wallet. See, it has a lot of money. All right, let me let me get into the vlog now. To work in the social service industry, homeless shelter. Um, how does it feel? Well, if you like to help people, like I do, it's a perfect fit. It's good for your for your resume, it's good on in the security industry, it makes you a stronger security officer. I am a fire, I am a fire safety coordinator, which is technically it applies into the homeless shelter environment. Very cool. Technically, like a fire and life safety director. As you can see, I'm wearing my mask due to the fact that we're inside a building. So also and if you see me looking this way, it's because I have to be dependent as to what's happening uh, if clients are coming in so that they don't get into the video, okay? So yeah, I'm doing this at work right now, as you can see. See, I got my, my business attire, as you can see. I got my boots. Ah, you saw that? Oh, man. I didn't know I had that uh, potential to do shit like that. Working in the social service industry in the homeless shelter environment, you have to be cautious as to how you talk to these clients and what you have to do. You gotta always be dependable, reliable, and know where exactly they're gonna go, and especially in their rooms. A lot of people don't like to do this type of environment or this type of job is because they feel like it's kinda hard, it's kinda difficult, it's not for them, and such and such. Depends on how you look at it as like i said it makes you a stronger security officer it makes you a better one and listen and the pay is fantastic especially if it's a nonprofit organization it's amazing it's worth it and i think it's a great experience like i said and you should try it out i i highly recommend it working in the industry you're going to be most of the time in the stand-up post like i am right now there's no chairs as you can see no chairs at all you have to be in a stand-up post walking around, making sure everybody's on point, making sure that everybody's doing their thing, and you know, and basically it. What I do is I walk around, and I'll show you. I walk around from left to right, as you can see, going to the end. Then we go back here. So you can see the elevators. 
see? And we keep on doing this. Make sure the staircase is empty. Make sure everything is safe and secure. And making sure all the exit signs and everything is where it's at, okay? So you saw what I did, right? And that's basically it. But also, they give you a master key card to enter the client's room to let them in. And you have a radio equip, so just in case everything is safe and secure and every, everybody is on their point. Following guidelines, making sure that everybody's doing their thing, which is good. So, as you can see, most of the time, you have to be on point with a lot of stuff. Especially when you have something like this. You see that? See? See that, guys? So, yeah, that's the... That's the fire alarm, okay? So we're mostly here because of the fire alarm as well, because the fire panel is in the lobby and we gotta make sure that no fire happens over here. And that's why we're here, we, we do fire watch as well. So um, in the industry, you just have to make sure you de-escalate the situation, don't get into any arguments with anybody, make sure that they are safe and secure and make sure that they are feeling comfortable just like you wanna feel comfortable in a post, okay? Just try not to get assaulted and try not to get into any arguments or fist fights with any other clients. That's not how it works in this environment. You gotta be very professional, you gotta be on point, follow guidelines and do exactly what you have to do and document every single thing that needs to be documented if anything happens, God forbid, okay? I like this industry because it's good, it, it, it has made me a better security officer in the past 14 years that I've been in the industry. Um, and I like to point this out to everybody that is watching this because it, it could maybe, if you wanna get into the security industry or if you looking for work and all that stuff, it's worth it, it's worth it, I'm telling you. And you're gonna love it and I mean, I like it. I ain't got a problem with it. So if I like it, watch, you might like it too. So I wanted to take this time to let people know that in the industry, it may be easy, it may be hard, but it also depends on the location that you're in as well, which is very important. If you feel comfortable doing it, I highly recommend it, but start off getting your FO2s, which is a fire guard, before you become an F80 or an FSD, okay? Very important. Um, it's so different in other environments in the security industry because security industry has a whole bunch of different types of environments where they land, wherever you land on. But because of COVID, most of the industries are in hotels, just like this one that I showed you. You saw how it looks like. So it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I like it. And I really have fun with it. Um, if you guys have any, any questions or recommendations that you want me to help you with, you guys can message me. You know, I got my social media platforms on my YouTube channel where you guys can message me and, and ask me more and more questions as to how to get the exams and how to get the certificates and how to be qualified to work in these industries. It's much easy and it's much appreciated. I'm telling you guys, you know, you don't wanna be that security officer who's a bad apple where you come here for like one, two, three days and then you quit. No, you have to really understand that sometimes in these type of jobs, you have to be on post, which is very important. Also guys, being following guidelines and doing what you're supposed to be doing, it, you know, action speaks louder than words. And that's why companies like this, they always hire because they look for potential people who are willing to do their job accurately, like I do. So I wanted people to understand how this works. I've been in the social service industry for about three years and I haven't had a problem with it, okay? And I think it's very cool, it's fun. You can work for companies like Ally Universal, as you can see, and yeah, and like just be dependable. You see how I do it? See how I make sure that while I'm talking to you guys, I'm making sure that everything is safe and secure. See, that's being on point. And if you guys can do it, then I could do it too. You know, and if I could do it, you guys could do it too. See what I'm saying? So guys, I really hope this video helps out those people who are looking for work 
to get in the security and to get into the security industry and to get your fire guards to be in places like this to at least make money especially during covid i know a lot of people are looking for work but i highly recommend working in a homeless shelter for now give it a try you may never know it could be beneficial for you health insurance 401k that's beneficial for me for real especially if you have a family or you don't i'm telling you it's worth it um and i hope this helps you guys out to look for work go to linkedin indeed all these security websites look into it if you want to get your security license look into it as well wherever you are wherever state you're from get in get into the security business right now it's a big thing at this time so guys uh as i always say if you like what you see and you're interested in joining the exclusive family discord group channel you already know i'm going to put the link in the description below that being said guys you know who i be they call me your mills they call me Nomad Patriot. They call me The Slider. Team YGE versus Team Slider on their Team Donkey Productions. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. And if you guys decide to go outside, please, guys, wear a mask. It's very important. Okay? And I hope this video helped out all those people that wanted to know how it feels to work in these environments. And if you have any other questions, just drop your comments down below this video, or you can always follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, on the Discord. You know what I'm saying, guys? I have other platforms that you guys can check me out on, all right? And I want everybody to feel comfortable in these type of environments, especially right now, when uh, if you're looking for work. And like I said, I highly recommend it, and I think it's beneficial, okay? It's always good to remind you guys how it is, okay? And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe out there, guys, please. And God bless you all.